Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to crop a image in circular shape. Let me show you what I mean. If I click on run this command, you can see I got a cat image. So if I right click on my mouse and drag it and if I press C, you can see I crop it in circular shape. So let's try to understand how does this code work. So first thing that I have done is I have imported my CV2 library numpy and after that I will first import my image so I have stored my image of cat just to know that this cat image is in the same folder where my code is okay after that I have created a duplicate image of my this okay and I have created something called mouse pressed false first thing that I need to know where is my mouse okay so I have defined a something called uh, starting uh, starting x and y ending x and y uh, 2 minus 1 as you know a image is nothing just a uh, data okay array of data so a image does not contain value of minus 1 so basically minus 1 present that hey, hey this data is does not anywhere so suppose if I put 1 what will happen uh, by default my starting position of the circle is at the position 1 on the image and I don't want it I want where I click on my mouse that will be the starting position so by default to make sure that it doesn't have any starting position of a circle or origin I put it negative one okay after that I am defining my mouse button so I am defining my event x and y flags and parameters uh, a question is why I define a global here so that you know these variable can be used in other other uh, loop outside okay uh, now after that I have created an event in which basically when I press the left button of my mouse okay so event left button down okay it is left mouse button down so mouse press will be true and starting x and starting y will I will get from here okay so when I you know uh, for example if I click on this so when I click on it hit okay so so when i click on it so you will see that i got the starting x and y okay and i just duplicate the image after that what i have done is if mouse move for example uh, as you can see if mouse move this is mouse moving okay so event mouse move okay so what it will do uh, it will basically you know take that and it will give you as a radius of it some people will not get what it means for example I move my mouse up to here so I, what I am doing is I am calculating the radius how so the first point where I click on it and up to where I move my mouse okay so this time from this point to this here okay so it will calculate the distance so first thing I have done is I have used you know Pythagoras theorem simple x square uh, x1 minus x2 square uh, plus y1 minus y2 square and in the under root now I have created a circle so cv2 circle where I want to create a circle I want to create a circle on my image duplicate what is the origin of the circle okay so it is starting x starting y so basically the first point where I click okay what will be radius it radius from here why I type inter radius? So here's the thing in pixel value, for example, if my screen is 90, 20 by 1080, so you will not see a value something like 100.5, 100.237, right? But in square root, you can get a value something like that 10.327, 11.326. Okay, so it doesn't make any sense in you know radius or here because how can you define for example 100.325 in here pixels so it doesn't make any sense so to make sure that we only get integer values uh, not you know floating values that is the reason I have typed int after that this is the color for example you see it is uh, green color so it is because of this B G R blue green red and one you know it is the thickness of this uh, circle after that I have created if left mouse button up then it will be false and that will be the you know ending x and y position so after that you know play around and find out thing so if I press C 
you can see it crops the image okay so you can see other things as well and i highly recommend just try your own and find out what you learn from it because it's quite easy and interesting thing and you will know some basic math that i will use so i hope this video is useful for you if you have any kind of question queries feel free to ask code link in the description check out my uh, blog thanks for watching and have a great day